booster. And it may not just be California. We've learned the CDC is reviewing more potential Omicron cases in several other states. What is concerning you about Omicron right now? Not knowing enough. Some local doctors have seen an increase this week in positive COVID cases among patients, but say don't panic, rather be proactive. I'm wearing a, the right mask the right way, you know, um, you know being very selective of, of crowds and, and large gatherings, um, trying to stay around other vaccinated people. This morning, the White House has announced a new plan to fight the coronavirus and the emerging variants. Part of that plan includes requiring international air passengers to test negative within 24 hours of their travel to the U.S., even if vaccinated. The mask mandate for public transportation that was set to end in January is also being extended to March 18th. The president's plan also includes a push for all adults to get a booster, expanding availability at pharmacies. FEMA will also be setting up family vaccination clinics to get more children vaccinated and keep schools open. Here in New York City, officials aren't making any new recommendations yet. We will, of course, keep New Yorkers posted as, um, as the science is elucidated. Uh, but right now, it's too early to, to draw uh, very many conclusions. Now, most experts are continuing to say that vaccines will offer some sort of protection against this new variant. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization says that it expects some new data on all this, not within a few weeks, but within a few days. We are live this morning from JFK Airport. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you. Now to a commuter alert on the roads and rails. Here's CBS News traffic reporter Guy Stanier with the latest. Guy. Thanks, Chris. Taking a live look at the Gowanus Expressway in Brooklyn. Very heavy delays on the northbound side due to an accident at Hamilton Avenue that has two lanes closed. Traffic is now backed up to the Verrazano Bridge. And we also have problems on the rails due to an FDNY investigation at 4th Ave, 9th Street. G trains are suspended in both directions between Bedford Nostrand Avenues and Church Avenue. Back to you guys. Okay, Guy, thank you. Actor Alec Baldwin opening up about the deadly shooting on the set of the movie Rust. Baldwin gave his account.